We begin with the victims of the Highland Park shooting. Seven dead in all. They include a grandfather visiting from Mexico and a woman who was active in her synagogue. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at Evanston Hospital where some of the victims were taken. Julian. Well, Lourdes and Ben, as you reported, the Lake County coroner identifying six of the seven victims. The seventh victim has not been publicly identified at this time, but here's what we know. The victim's name, 64-year-old Catherine Goldstein of Highland Park, 35-year-old Irina McCarthy, 37-year-old Kevin McCarthy, 63-year-old Jacqueline Sundheim, and Stephen Strauss, 88 years of age, all of them from Highland Park, Illinois. Also identified is 78-year-old Nicholas Toledo of Morioles, Mexico. On a GoFundMe page, the family putting out a plea for help. Three family members wounded in yesterday's 4th of July parade shooting in Highland Park. The grandparents and their grandson caught in a hail of bullets, close to 70 rounds fired, according to investigators. The Uvaldo family talking to me briefly off camera, sharing the sad news that doctors believe the chances are low for Eduardo Uvaldo to survive. As for the dozens injured, a GoFundMe page established for Chicago public school teacher Zoe Kolpak. She, her brother, her husband, and father-in-law all wounded in front of their little children. Thankfully, the kids were unharmed, police say. In a written statement, Chicago public school spokespeople saying, quote, we are thinking of our William Deaver elementary colleague and her family, as well as all of those impacted by this tragedy. Other victims identified are Nicholas Toledo, 76 years of age, patriarch to a large and extended family, and beloved preschool teacher Jackie Sundheim, the longtime and devoted member of North Shore Congregation Israel. She was a preschool teacher, um, you know, uh, committed to her synagogue as well and her religion, and um, to come out here and, 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 and lose your life like this, it's, it's it, one word is just tragic that I have, unfortunately. And the release of all those names today bringing home the scale of this enormous tragedy and the number of families who have been irreparably harmed as a result of this tragedy. In Evanston, Julian Cruz, WGN News.